Everything else is live. Yeah. So you're, you're live, Jed Harrelson. Hey, hey, how's it going? Hey, Jed, there's everybody. Hey, everybody. Everybody knows Rayleigh? Hi. Rayleigh, we're getting excited. You'll be, you're back in town from Nashville. Yeah, man, it's, uh, it's been about a year since we've done a show here. And, uh, I mean, you know, we used to play, you know, every two or three months here in town, but, you know, in, in, in Nashville, we've been having a lot of shows, being really busy. How long, you've been in Nashville a couple of years now. Yeah, we're working on right under three years right now. Um, the last two years of that, been doing music full time, um, playing a lot in downtown Texarkana. Hell, this year we're gonna have almost 200 shows. Um, it's great, love it, you know. But there's nothing like coming home for a show, right? You know, yeah. yeah. And you had to come home for the, you know, the old gun season kicked well, off. Well, yeah, weekend, yeah. Right? I spent the whole last weekend at Deer Camp. Yeah. And uh, you know, I always try to take off around that time. So because you just you. Just grew up right down the road, right? Yeah, I mean, right down the road. You know, I got memories all over this town. Yeah, it's, it's, it's fun. I know you always bring a huge crowd, but you, you've gone off to Nashville now. Yeah. And you're making a living. Yeah. As a musician yeah. in Nashville. That's... It, I mean, you know, for like two or three months, it was a struggle, you know? Um, the way it kind of happened was I was working at a hotel doing ballet. Um, funny story, I was parking Casey Musgrave's car, and... I was new to Nashville, and I wanted to put myself out there. What's up, girl? Yeah, well, no, I, I, I had this little business card, and on the business card I said, I think you're great, I'm new to town, listen to my music. And I put it in her car and left it there, and then that night I got a call from a boss. She had called up there to the hotel, got me fired. Long story short, yeah. And, uh, for leaving something. For in leaving uh, my Casey Musgrave. <laughs> Oh Shame my God! Oh, and, you know she's an East Texas girl too. Right. You know? So like, right. And you, and I'm just, I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> but you know, after all that happened, I mean, I was I had never been fired from a job, you know. But I got fired for like putting myself out there, you know. Um, and right after that, you know, I was looking for jobs, and I had a buddy who was like, "Don't get a job. You didn't come here to park cars." So I mean, I had some money saved up. Started gigging, calling the phones, emails, left and right. And then, you know, two or three months, it was tough. You know, I struggled a little bit, but, you know, about four months in, I started seeing myself, you know, I got three shows this week. And then I got five shows this week. And I got ten shows this week I'm playing, you know. Um, and then it just kind of started rolling, you know. And that, I mean, I've been making a living playing music for like two years, and, yeah. And it's it's been fascinating to me because, you know, I've tried to be a part of that industry for I guess 40 something years yeah. <laughs> but um, the growth now that individuals can can see through like TikTok yeah and, and social media yeah you I know mean, you can really kind of create your own yeah destiny. I mean for the longest especially like stuff like TikTok I thought you know TikTok I'm never gonna get on there you know until I started getting on there and you know sometimes some of those videos, they go up, the Instagram goes up, the Spotify listeners go up. That's right. Everything goes up from one little goofy video we did, you know, that's just promoting a song or something. So I'm, I'm for it. I get it, you know. Anybody can make it happen right now. Yeah, that, you know? and, and, and it's true. I, I, I think that is so – you got Spotify. What do you listen to? Pandora. I have Pandora. Pandora. Keep it simple, yeah. But now I'm very, I'm very bland. I you better to just speak up. I, I ain't got a voice. <laughs> I'm I'm very bland though. Like I, I'm very specific to what I like everything. I respect music, yeah. but it's um like you, you got pretty eclectic taste too. I do. Like you know, I had my employee walk in downstairs while I'm organizing, and I listened to a ship in. I like <laughs> classical music. Yeah. It's weird, but you know, I just have That's my own little thing. It's soothing. So, yeah, I can get down with but it. But no, um, I used to have Spotify on my car too. Hey, you like you <laughs> like classical music? Not to get too far off subject, but when I would, when my little granddaughters were babies, mm -hmm. um, there's a uh, a channel that is um, uh, it's where they take current songs. Oh, make like, them classical. But they like make them classical well, and lullaby type. Yeah. You know? The piano guys, I listen to them. That's exactly what they do. Them, yeah. Brooklyn duo. It's called a couple co other Coffee ones. House. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think is what that yeah, yeah, station yeah. on Pandora's called. Like yeah. I do. So you. Uh, you're going to be here on the 25th? On Black Friday, yeah. Black Friday. Yeah. Tickets are available now, really. Yes. And, you know, there's no Black Friday deal for a ticket. You know, it's Black Friday, right. but, you know, it's, it's still oh, Thanksgiving no. prices. No, yeah, no, we got Black Friday pricing. That's, <laughs> that's right. It'll be right there next to the outhouse. Fine, fine print. 
Um, but no, if you want to get tickets, go on to Outhouse Tickets. Um, you can click up in the search bar, just put cross ties in, and you'll be able to see a night with Jed Harrelson up there. And a night with Jed Harrelson, that means, because uh, I like the way you do your shows, but coming back, yeah. now that you're not playing so often, yeah. you get a chance to kind of tell your story. Yeah, and, and I think what's different about this year is, you know, the past few years we come home and do a show, we're playing three or four hours, playing a lot of covers and stuff. This year, we've got an opening band, Lane Bricker. Go check him out. Yeah. He's going to be starting the night. Mm -hmm. He's a musician around town. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, well, you know, his dad, Chip, you know, played at Grand Ole Opry. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what I've been told. Yeah. You know, Chip. That's cool. Yeah, Chip's been around. And then had Smart Studios for a long time. Ago. Yeah, yeah. Um, but So Lane's going to kick off the show, and we're going to play a lot of original music. You know, we're, we're doing this original music thing, and there's going to be a lot of new songs that we're playing, and... Maybe some old ones. You might hear some songs, you know. I don't know. Um, well, tell where can we go? I mean, let's send some fans to your social yeah. media. Yeah, and I mean, I've not found another Jed Harrelson. But if you search my name, it's there. You know, <laughs> just about on anything. You know, it's just at Jed Harrelson. And the hair is pretty much going to look the same. Yeah, it might be a little bit bigger. You know, it grows pretty quick. You know, but no, there's a staple. It's, it's definitely a staple to what it's, we're doing. It's a brand builder. Yeah. So if not, you know, he's going to be the next Simpsons character. <laughs> you know, Jed, uh, uh, so on the 25th, um, what are you going to be doing after that? Are you heading back to... Um, you know, I'm going to hang out for a couple days, you know, just to be with the family. Um, I'm not going to be able to spend a whole lot of time here for December, so I'm going to soak it in for a few more days and then back to Nashville and getting right back to work. We you know. will be able to come see family for Christmas. Yeah, I'll be here for Christmas, you know. Um, typically, I like to come home for like two weeks during that time. Probably not gonna be able to do that this year, you know. You know, I mean, it's it sucks getting famous, don't it? <laughs> I mean, you know, we have, we have not reached a great amount of fame yet, you know. Well, but you we're know, staying busy, you know. That's, yeah. that's the key to it, though, and you keep putting out your original stuff. Yeah. Um, you're on Spotify. You're, yeah, I mean you're available everywhere. Anywhere you listen to music, you can find it. You yeah. know, and right now we're we're trying to release music every four to six weeks. Right now, really just trying to be consistent with it. You know, one song each. You know, you know, almost month and a half. You know, um, trying to just you know build those numbers and build that uh, portfolio with some good music. You know. So let me let me ask you a thing, knowing how you younger guys now are able to take advantage of Spotify and. Um, you know, I mean, you can even start your own radio station, yeah. internet stations with just your music, even. Yeah. Um, are, are, are you as interested in, like, a record deal? I mean, you know, if you asked me five years ago, I'd say, oh, yeah, I want a record deal. But, like, the way I see the music industry right now, you don't really need one, you know? Like, people are able to grow their stuff organically through, you know, like you said, TikTok and Instagram, stuff like that. I mean, yeah, and for for the older folks, organic, organically, we used to call that grassroots. Yeah, and we still, I still call it grassroots. You know, we're we're taking a grassroots approach, and um, a record deal. I'd say right now we're trying to build leverage. You know, in case we get a record deal one day. You know, but I'm not looking for that. You know, I've had a lot of friends who signed a record deal who kind of got a bad deal. And you know? we've known people that have have gone and and just wanting that record deal but yeah. not being what they thought it would be. Yeah, you know, a record kind of left behind more so and it's, stuck. Like, it's almost like settling. Yeah. yeah. A record deal is supposed to help you and people think that a record deal is going to get you there. Yeah, right. And yeah. It's not. You got to have something established before a record deal is going to do what you want it to. Yeah. You know, and it's, smart, think, yeah, it's, it's not on my priority list right now. Yeah, no, you're yeah. doing this smartly mm -hmm. man. Yeah. and that's that's how you build a life to do it. Yeah. You know? we're, we're trying to build a, a pretty big base right now to build something that's going to last. You know, things yeah. that last don't come easy. You know, and t tell me, tell me, what's special about Rayleigh, man? What's you know, once a <laughs> We've year. We've known each other for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, once a year we have that conversation. You know, where are we playing this year in Texarkana? Mm -hmm. You know, we we talked about Whiskey River, and you know, we've always played at Redbone, and you know, I've been seeing a lot of stuff happen here at Cross Eyes, and There's... Rayleigh sold me on. <laughs> <laughs> here, here's the truth of it, and I think Rayleigh probably mentioned it. When you've been playing these other local venues, they're packed out. Yeah, yeah. Right, and so there's people that are, that are left out, and there's just more room here. Yeah, it's a larger venue. This is this is going to be the biggest venue that we played. Oh, you know, you know. By the way, Cross Ties downtown Texas Cannons. Yeah, 
Then you center. Hey, thanks for sponsoring this video. Yeah. <laughs> no, Rayleigh, Rayleigh was quick to sell me on it. You know, we talked on the phone and you know, this is this there's no other spot right now for what's happening. Well, and I watched him like I said years ago. Yeah. I, I I knew him through friends and other things and I know people that your family to everyone and everyone follows. Everyone enjoys it. And also I'm from the town with you too. Mr. Schultz. Yeah. So when I came from this and I came Tell them. Because it's like she leans in and she's like, all right, so here. I'm having to talk. So, but no, um, watching him just with that one too, it's just he's he's entertaining. He's active on the stage. He draws you in. People want to. I mean, it wasn't as much. We didn't even have to advertise it back then. And they that's, just showed and that's up. true because, I mean, you put, I mean, you put your real personality out there. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You're, you're living what you're doing. And, well, I mean, I, I, want it, I want it to be real. It is real, you know, and I think. You know, I think that's why it's working right now is because it is real and it's not fake and it's it's no bullshit, you know. It is me, you know. I'm you give them that rawness. Yeah. It's wonderful. You know, it's going to be goofy. It's going to be soulful. It's going to be a little different, you know, but I think. But it'll be a lot of fun. Oh, it's going to be a damn good time. Right. You know, we yeah. always get down, you know. It's, it's going to be a lot of fun. And this is happening November 25th. Black Friday. Black Friday. And again. You can get your Black Friday tickets today. Out, outhouse out, tickets. Outhouse, outhouse tickets. tickets yeah. Just uh, search cross ties. Well, and to also put this in here too, if people do not get online and get tickets, there will be tickets sold at the door. We have a lot of confusion with that sometimes. You can still show up and come. And that's kind of what I wanted. That, and that's the advantage of coming to the larger venue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, you know, as you grow up, man, you're going to end up in stadium someday. You know, we're sell out one day. Are, are we you, are. <laughs> no, it, it's going to happen, you uh, know. Are you going to remember us, Z? I, I tell you, I have so much hometown pride, and anybody that I come across in this town is in my head, and I'm, I know where I came from, and I don't forget that shit. Yeah, you know, yes, yeah. we appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. All right, so what else can we add, Miss Rayleigh? We got Christmas trees. I have to go pick those up. 870-684. No, we'll start again. 870-648. 5,009. 5,009. And they're 100 bucks, and we are picking them up on the 22nd or 23rd. Are they real trees? They're real trees. Uh, We're actually not, going to a Christmas tree farm. Have you not seen the Christmas tree forest yet? Uh-uh. So, yeah. So, what, what we do, it, it, our, what you do, what you do, is uh, come down here, hundred bucks for a tree. Mm -hmm. It gets set up in the field out here. Yeah, you just create a forest. Oh, tree, so local businesses, churches, civic organizations, politicians, okay, okay. anybody, any individuals uh, can sponsor a tree. It gets set up out there, and there's electricity provided. Yeah, and you come decorate it the way you want to. Uh, I mean, and we have seen some phenomenal. They're wonderful. Are people already doing it? Uh, Not well, yet. We don't get the trees until the last the, couple of years. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, I mean, some of them have been done up. Mm -hmm. It looked like you know, uh, I can't think that, like the Dolly Parton Christmas special type thing. You know yeah. I mean? Well, they each do it per their like. You know, we had um, we've had certain like a Eternal Views bottle. They have little soy sauce bottles and oh, um, yeah. Jr. Catering did spatulas and you know um, the Wadley Regional Respiratory who won last year. And I think they had like a face mask and had, it was just crazy. Oh, it's nice. cute though. Yeah, it, it did. And so they, they decorate the trees the way they want to. And then uh, around the Christmas parade that we do yeah. out here, um, they judge them. Okay. You know, just off of uh, decorations and yeah. top three. And uh, what are the prizes? So what we do is we do uh, room rentals. So yeah. they can go to $3,500. Oh, nice. And so, like, I actually had um, Wadley Respiratory. They had their party two weeks ago down here at yep. the for first play like, prize oh, for our big venue. And they had a big, like, uh, I guess a work family work party or whatever. It was precious. But they had a thrift store party. Oh, so nice. everyone had to go to the thrift store, and it was cute. So, but, yeah, so you get to do that. You can use it for Christmas parties. You can use it for anything, pretty much. So, yeah, and... When the parade takes place, Santa Claus is going to be out here at the Christmas tree oh, forest yeah. after, you know. Mm -hmm. So once the parade kicks to come down here, kids can get their free photos. Yeah. And tell Santa what they want. But but the Christmas tree forest, it, it's, it's, 
it's it's not like the most glamorous thing in the world, but it is the coolest yeah. feature of Texarkana right now for Christmas time. Yeah. Because you can walk through and you see everybody's personalities and their decorations. Yeah. And it's, it's just a lot of fun. And it's those Christmas lights and Santa Mrs. Claus will be out there. Yeah. You Merry know, Christmas. So that's that's going on now. But you need to get your tree and get you can tree. reserve that. 870 648 5009. Yep. <laughs> Write it down. Uh -huh. Good job. Good job. <laughs> we hope to see everybody November 25th. November 25th. Come on with it. Two kids. He's coming back to town just for y'all. You got one night this year. You know, <laughs> be there or hear about it later. <laughs> Yeah, okay. That was a good one. Yeah. So, uh, is there anything else we can add? You wanted to, I mean, because you've been gone for a little while now. I've been gone, you know, come ready to hear some good music, some new music, and I don't know, we're going to be hanging out all night. Come say hey to us, you know. Yeah, all your classmates, everybody. Yeah. Here, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing a lot of folks I haven't seen in a while. Yeah. You know? Well, good. That's happening November 25th. Black Friday. Cross Ties, downtown Texarkana. Tickets available. At, uh, outhouse events. OuthouseTickets.com mm -hmm. and just search Cross Ties and you'll get it. All right? Cool. Thanks, man. Hey, thanks so much. We're looking forward to the oh, show. Yeah. <laughs>